In this lesson, we're going to solve a pair of simultaneous equations where one is quadratic and the other equation is linear. And we're going to do this three substitution. We begin with the equations y is equal to 4 minus 2x and y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 3. Now, in this equation is the parabola, the blue equation. And this equation is the linear red equation. And the solutions are where the two equations meet. And you can see if you were to carry this parabola upwards and this linear equation upwards, they would meet again. So we're going to do this free substitution. Now, at the point at where the two graphs meet, this value of y is the same as this value of y. So therefore, this equation, 4 minus 2x, it's the same as that value of y. So we can write that as one equation by substituting in this value of y into this equation. So we have 4 minus 2x is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 3. Now, when we solve a quadratic equation, we need to make it equal 0. So we'll do this by taking away the 4 and adding 2x. And we'll do that to both sides. And you can see the 4 take away 4 will cancel. And the negative 2x plus 2x will cancel. So you're left with 0 is equal to x squared. Minus 2x plus 2x will cancel to make 0. So add no x. And negative 3 take away 4 will make negative 7. So we have 0 is equal to x squared minus 7 because anything times 0 is 0. So now we have x squared is equal to positive 7. x will equal the plus or minus square root of positive 7. We include the negative because the negative 7 times negative 7 will always make 7. So x is approximately equal to as a decimal plus or minus 2.6. So that gives us the x value at this point, which is approximately 2.6. So if x is approximately positive 2.6, we can put this value back in to the linear equation. We could also put it back in the quadratic equation. It's just easier to use the linear one. So y is approximately 4 minus 2 lots of x, which is 2.6. So y is approximately negative 1.3. And that is this point here. The other solution is when x is approximately negative 2.6. So y will be approximately... 4 minus 2 lots of negative 2.6. Y is approximately 9.3. And that would be your other solution. Thank you very much. I hope you found that useful. And check out MythMathematics.com for the full lesson and worksheet.